Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your love and romance reading. It will be from March to April 2021 for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well Cancer. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the next month or two. I'm going to mainly focus on the tarot um, at the beginning and then we'll pull... Oh, okay. Interesting that came out reversed. <laughs> we have the Ace of Coins reversed. Okay. I don't normally do reversals, but we'll go with it. So I'm going to pull three cards, Cancer. The first card is the issue or challenge you face in terms of love, romance, relationships. The second card is advice from spirit. The third card is your future outcome. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay. What do we have for Cancer, please, in terms of love, romance, relationships? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. These two go quite well together. The Wheel of Fortune. The Devil. The Seven of Pentacles, Cancer. Okay. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message, please, for Cancer. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Cancer. Love, romance, relationships. Oh my goodness, Cancer, the devil with the two of cups. What do we have for Cancer, please? Angel Spirits Guides. What do we have for Cancer, please? Yep, Ten of Wands goes with the Wheel of Fortune in the Challenge position. We have the Devil with the Knight of Cups. And we have the Seven of... Oh, nice. Very nice. The Ace of Swords. I'm pleased that's there. So I am very nice with Judgment. Okay. Okay, Cancer, so this is definitely an energy of have you learnt the lesson yet? I have to say, that's what I'm getting really strongly. Have you learnt the lesson yet? There is something here. Um, there will be a window of opportunity here for you in the next month or two uh, to break free of a bad cycle. And it feels like a relationship, somebody in your life who is not healthy for you. Um, it won't resonate with everybody, this reading, but these readings, and it's, it's a karmic, karmic, karmic reading. Um, and karma is about teaching us lessons so we don't repeat them. And the worry that spirit has in this energy is that you're going to go back to the very person who is... It feels like there may have been a breakup and then you get back together and then you try and break free and then you get back together. And that's why there's a lack of progress here. That's why there's a struggle to create a new beginning because for somebody, they're struggling to break free of a bad cycle. And this is, you know, this is a card of solidity, security, safety, abundance, feel good energy, finally finding solid ground. Because certainly in this energy, I have to say, Cancer, if this resonates for you, you won't feel solid, you won't feel stable, you'll feel insecure with this person. Um, they don't make you feel stable, they don't make you feel secure. I mean, that could be because they are, 
the, the devil is alluring. The devil is alluring. The devil is attractive. I mean, you know, it's very, very difficult to break free of in terms of love, romance, relationships. It can represent codependency, a feeling of lack of worth without that person being there, somebody dominating you so much that if you separate from them, you don't know who you are. You know, it, it can feel that kind of energy. Um, it can be about power imbalances within a relationship. It can be about addiction in whichever format. Uh, you're addicted. It can be the fact that you're just addicted to them and you don't know how to break free. Ten of Wands is they're weighing you. It feels like weighing you, weighing you down. But you, with this being in the challenge position, the universe is saying there will be an opportunity to break free. There will be an opportunity to release the burden. There will be an opportunity for you, it could well be on here in this reading for some of you, um, to really consider what's of value in your life, and from the experiences that you've had with this person, do you really want to reevaluate this now and really consider what is of value to you, what you're worth, what you deserve, you know, what you see for your long term future, you know, this kind of destiny energy, you know, or do you just go back on the same cycle? Because, you know, the Wheel of Fortune can be a resistance to breaking the cycle, certainly in the challenge position. So there's definitely an opportunity. This is the transmutable energy. It's a 10. We have 10, 10. There can be endings here. This can be that transmutable energy between endings and beginnings. And we have the new beginning here. We have the resistance to the new beginning here. Um, or the difficulty. This can be about lost opportunities. Um, This can be about not seeing the window of opportunity in your conscious reality to get stability and security back into your life, to find solid ground. Because I definitely feel for some of you, this is it feels like it's weighing you down, but you will have an opportunity to release from these burdens. And again, this devil energy is an unstable energy. You know, somebody who is not healthy for you is, again... It just feels like they're coming full circle. They're persuasive, they're charming, they're alluring. They definitely talk about change, but there isn't any. It's the same cycle being repeated. So spirit is telling you or asking you to really evaluate what is of value in your life now? Take stock, serious stock. What's worth putting your energy and time into and what's not? Because there is an opportunity to cut cords, to see the light, to have an epiphany, to get the clarity that you need to see through the illusion of what this devil is. And not what you want it to be. You know, romanticize, you know, this is a romanticizing energy, seeing the beauty in all things and yet not really seeing through the illusion. You know, it's that kind of energy. Um, it feels like there's some kind of smokescreen here of someone just not seeing things for what they are, not seeing the clarity, getting perspective, the big picture, you know, that kind of energy. But there will be an opportunity that might force you to take stock here. Because for some of you, something is going to happen. It's almost kind of like the clouds parting here. Something is going to happen uh, that will require you to make some kind of decision. And it's a karmic decision. Do I get off this roundabout or do I go round again for another turn? You know, and that is what the universe is asking you. Have you learned the lesson yet? This is about the karmic decision, a judgment call that needs to be made. You can choose to stay on the path that you're on, or you can absolutely step into your light and release 
that which doesn't serve you anymore. So, you know, uh, it, 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 it feels quite powerful for somebody. It's a powerful reading. It won't resonate with everybody. So again, you know, Cancer, just take what resonates for you. This Knight of Cups could be somebody off coming back, offering you love again, if there's been break. I mean, I just feel that there's been breakup going back, breakup going back, breakup going back. And all the time you're getting one extra wand added to the burden, the pressure, the responsibility weighing you down. You know, and there's definitely this energy. I mean, this can also be you, the Knight of Cups. You know, this kind of energy of romanticizing something, rose-colored glasses, and not really seeing the illusion of what this particular reading is saying. So there's definitely an energy of, of you have an opportunity to cut cords, break free, have some kind of epiphany in terms of how you move forward here. So let's pull one more card. It's, it's, it's tough energy because it's so alluring and this person wants to hold on to the wands, you know. <laughs> There's an opportunity to release them. It's, an, it's a completion, it's a 10. But this person isn't letting go of those wands very easily, you know. And it's, it's one of those things, it just feels very, very... It's the, it's the smokescreen of the devil. That wanted to come out, that was actually the Three of Swords, clarified by Capricorn, you know, Queen of Pentacles, which again is the devil energy. Um, this is Capricorn energy. I'm not necessarily saying it's with a Capricorn. It can just be in terms of what they represent. You know, the, the devil is alluring. The devil is a card of instability. Now, Queen of Pentacles understands how to bring stability back into her life. She's almost kind of like the flip side of how to deal with it. So it's almost kind of like you have the opportunity to deal with this situation and win. You have an opportunity to dance with this devil and win. There's too many there. I'll take the one that's turned up. Go within. Find truly what's going to make you happy. What is going to bring you your hopes, dreams and wishes? But what is going to make you happy? And if the, the answer, this is about asking yourself the answer, does this make me happy? And if the answer is no, then obviously there is something that needs to be dealt with here, with this judgment energy, some kind of judgment call. This is the wake up call. This is the wake up call. So powerful, powerful energy for somebody, Cancer. Um, I hope, I mean, it feels, it feels a tough energy. So I hope you have, um, you enjoyed the reading and you found it useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month or two for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.